At the beginning of the year, few were not impressed by the phenomenal growth of play-to-earn model games like Axie Infinity. Decentralized finance sided with the gaming industry and formed a long-awaited game GameFi sector. What came to replace the play-to-earn model and why? Why is the gaming industry shifting towards creating metaverses and at what table retail investors can get a seat? Why is create to earn more sustainable than play to earn long term? Let's dive deeper into the main question, how to get a piece of the phenomenal $218. 7 billion pie that is projected to be the gaming industry size by 2024. In the gaming industry, the play to earn, play to earn or P2E, model came to replace the classic pay to play model. It was a revolutionary idea that came with a new tech wave, games stopped being a hobby for teens and became a multi-billion business that can even help people pay their bills. Ideas that came from the DeFi sector, decentralized finance, helped to create entire in-game economies where people could invest and earn by simply playing a game. But most importantly, in contrast with centralized games, all purchased in-game items were made in the form of non-fungible items, hence unique and liquid, even outside the game universe. The brilliance of the idea was immediately proven by the storming success of Axie Infinity which reached a 2.7 million user base by November 2021, just six months after its inception. Yet at some point, the growth has frozen. By April, the number of active monthly users almost halved. High entry prices could have stopped the active inflow of new users but would not immediately push away current players. Some would blame the $600 million hack but the decline started way before that and looks like a spillover in the whole play to earn model. In fact, most of the market players started to be worried about the P2E's tendency for short-termism which started to damage the game infrastructure. In the end, this could lead to investors losing all their money after the bubble burst. How can we prioritize long-term growth over short-term gains? In the traditional world, the answer would have been regulations. Maybe tech giants like Facebook or Microsoft plan this for their metaverses but the blockchain community has its own answers. To add accountability to metaverses, games have to be governed by DAO, decentralized autonomous organizations. Gamers themselves will be able to create and sell NFTs, in-game businesses and infrastructure inside metaverses, determine rules and govern an ecosystem because they are the most interested parties. So they become meta star troopers. Create to earn has emerged in the MetaFi sector, as an intersection of metaverses and decentralized finance. Gamers themselves will create in-game businesses. The metaverses will be inhabited by players who will be the creators of the world bringing back fun to the gaming, together with more opportunities for long-term sustainable growth since the creators have the greatest bonds with its creations. The market growth opportunities relating to create to earn still allow us to get the best seats at the projects that are in the early stages. An example of such a project is the NFT Moon Metaverse. This May, the UAE-based company is sailing the downship to open waters by launching the first sale of avatars who will govern the metaverse. The premier city will be called Moonopolis. For the city to become decentralized, there should be a community of decision makers who will make all the decisions collectively. Each avatar will have a voting right and will participate in building a sustainable universe. Exactly for this, the first five, OOO avatars will be sold during the pre-sale and the following public sale. Apart from governance privileges and best prices, early birds will catch other benefits as well.